Hey, how's everybody doing? Good? All right. Well, we are take off and camp for tonight. Headed up to Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground. Gotta go get a little fuel first. We're gonna take a few back roads on the way up. Have a little fun. Hadn't been out on this thing in quite a while. I've been looking forward to it. Just been busy, working. Yeah, you know how life gets sometimes. But thanks for coming along. We're, we're slapping a little bit. Those mountains up there. We're gonna cut through those. We're gonna jump down off this interstate right up here. I love this road back through here. It's like a creek all along the uh, edge of the road. It makes you want to get down there in it, as hot as it is. <laughs> Big sawmill over there to the left. Did you see that? There's that creek. I'm not sure you can see it. Good. Here's the question today, how many, of, uh, how many of you guys have been out camping off your motorcycle? Where you been? Did you have fun? Did you have any troubles? Eat any good food? Put in the comments down below, down there, and um, we can have us a little discussion on uh, everybody's camping trips. That creek. Just go over there and lay down in that thing. It feels so good. Well, we're in Flag Pond. Part of the road right here. It's any more enjoyable than that right there on a motorcycle. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, we're just about to the top of this mountain here. Caught up to the interstate, finally. A couple of these curves are kind of off uh, camber. A little difficult. They just want to throw you to the right. You have to watch it. Stretch our legs a little bit. There's a beautiful view right there. Well, I just did a little bypass around Canton and that worked out great. First time I've ever done that. We're going to turn left here on Caruso Road. Over there to my right, that jukebox junction has a great hamburger. If you're ever up here and looking for something to eat, 
And the Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground is just about six miles out through here. We are going to stop in here and get a couple of uh, cold drinks to take with us. Now it's showing you my bike. Got it loaded up a little bit here. My chair, tent, a few things here. We are here. This road sees quite a bit of traffic. If you just go straight on up the mountain, you will be at, um, you'll come to the Blue Ridge Parkway. So it's kind of handy to come down off the mountain and come in here to the Blue Ridge Mo Motorcycle Campground. Right there's a view that you don't get tired of. That's beautiful. That way and this way. Moto Guzzi. Let's go see what kind of spots are available. There you got the pond and I did a whole video on this place. You can check it out on my channel. Real Moto Vlog. So it doesn't look too crowded. Maybe maybe there'd be a crowd come in this evening. Guess I'm beating some of the work traffic one of my favorite spots right here I think right on that creek that's gonna be good okay so I know it's windy out here but some of you guys have asked about my tent this is it without the rain fly on it it is a galaxy two person Nemo. Let's see, it's got plenty of room in there. Just one of me, but easy to set up. Getting ready to put the rain fly on there. May have some thunderstorms. I've got my air mattress out here. It is is a big Agnes Q core. And the reason I have this one, and I've gone through several, is because of the size of it, 25 to 78 before. That's one of the reasons. Another one, my goodness, I've had some of these and some guys camped beside me before where it is so loud. Every time they move an arm or leg, it wakes everybody three tenths up from. You really have to do your research on these. But this one's wide at the shoulders. A lot of them are narrow. A lot of them will roll you out. I'll get this one blown up and, and show it to you. All right, here we are with the rain fly on. Got the door kind of flat back there. Had a lot of storage under here. A lot of space. I already threw my jacket and riding pants in there. There's some pockets in there. You can hang some things up over your light. And roll the screen back there's a little magnet here actually hold the, some magnet right here roll the screen back and it holds it on there pretty cool well we're all set up here you see i've already got my helmet in here another bag i carry some electronics in sleeping bag i use i like to use um my riding clothes i don't prop up quite that high at night but 
Got to listen to that all night. That's going to be wonderful, isn't it? I don't know who's sitting over here. They've been gone the whole time. This is Lonnie over here. I met Lonnie. He's from Naples, Florida. Dinner's at 6. Try to take you guys along. Well, looks like it's dinner time. We're having Brunswick stew and cornbread. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. We got Brunswick stew. We got Brunswick stew and cornbread. got some rain during dinner had to pull out the wrinkled raincoat won't be long till nightfall it's been a good day though good morning uh, so pretty good let's go get some breakfast mm. yep, quite a few campers come in last night A lot of guys in the cabins over here. I'm pretty hungry. You see this for breakfast? It actually feels great. You see the breeze on the tent. Let's start packing up. I'm gonna head back across the mountain. That's refreshing. This does a mind good and a body good to get away, even if just for 24 hours. Back up, get out of here. up and we're off Snake Branch Road to the left. That ought to tell you something. If you name a road after the rattlesnake, I can guarantee you there's some rattlesnakes in there. Well, we've jumped back up on the little slab here for a few miles. We got a pack of riders here. It's like on Harley's. I started just to follow in behind them and see how long before they noticed there was a GS Adventure 
bringing up the rear. Nice back. What do you say, buddy? These all look like pretty new bikes. Here we go. He's stretched out. He's got his knees locked out. I'm not sure how long I could handle that before I fell asleep. And here we go. And here we are, getting ready to cross the mountain. I'm trying to show you some views here. Well, thanks for coming along again on this camping trip. We're just about to the house. And remember, as always, to ride like you are invisible. And if you enjoyed this, hit the like, hit the thumbs up button there. And make sure you subscribe for more videos whenever we're able to do them. And comment, whatever you'd like to do.